My name's Sylvia Mack and I'm a child burn survivor. I found my strength on the road to recovery one day when I was on holiday with my mum. <clears throat> I was on the beach and a guy was following me with his camera. I realised that I didn't want to be seen on YouTube as the scarred lady and this was something that happened often whenever I was on holiday. So we decided to go down to the beach um, just to get away from being filmed and being photographed, um, even though it was busy on the beach. Um, so I had a bikini under a dress and at this point in time I, I realised that my mum was so sad. I decided to go down to the water's edge and just help change her life because I realised that it, it had been affecting her as much as it had been affecting me. So I went to the water's edge, took off my dress and I just shouted out, Mum, I'm okay, I'm okay and I started to pose and smile, put my hands on my hips and I just showed her that I was really happy went back to her and I just said, Mum, we're okay now, everything's gonna be fine. And it was that moment I realised that actually this was affecting her and all my family and me locking myself away was, was causing a lot of problem for everybody and I, I needed to change that. So that was the moment, that, that was a pivotal moment in my life when, when I decided to change and start to accept my scars. Um, I would pass my light of hope to people um, just to say be more confident in your body, try to change your mindset um, to be more positive. One thing that I noticed was my life was full of negativity, I was angry all the time, I took all my emotions out on everyone around me, so the minute I, I changed my life to be more positive, um, my life just changed for the better, I noticed I had more friends like I can you know, I couldn't count my friends on one hand, whereas I have so many friends now, um, it's, it's amazing and it just makes you feel so much better when you can talk about your feelings to others. Sometimes it's difficult to tell your family about how you feel, but there, there are associations and, and, you know, places, charities such as the Terry Dunnage Foundation that can help you if you need help. There's so many charities out there and if, if you really hit rock bottom, there's always Samaritans, but there are people that can talk to you. There's people in positive places on Facebook, Instagram, and you can always reach out to them. Most of the time they will reply you and talk back. And um, it's really important to just remain positive um, and be really accepting of your body. Body image is so important um, in this time and we tend to look at other people and want to look like how other people look. So it's really important that we start to accept the way we look. We're unique and we should accept our bodies. Last year I set up Love This Figure. Um, Love This Figure was to help raise awareness and support people with disfigurements. I realised that over the period of time that I needed help where I was looking myself away, there was nothing out there, there was nothing on the internet for me. So I decided by setting up Love This Figure, I could reach out to other people. For example, when I was going through those bad times, I wanted to reach out and say, it's okay, I'm here for you. I can try and support you all I can. And what I was doing was basically, and what I continue to do, is show positive pictures of me in bikini, showing my scars, showing that I'm accepting my body, and it's important that you can accept your body too. It doesn't matter what you look like, we should be accepting our bodies and the way we look. I'm not trying to look like others. So Love This Figure has gone on, I have a Facebook group with over 3,000 followers, Instagram over 3,000 followers, and Twitter. That's, I'm very active on social media, sharing pictures. I recently did set up a photo shoot for women, men and children, which was really important to me because I wanted to challenge the fashion industry to be inclusive of people with differences. It was important that I had everyone in there, age, size, gender, disability, ethnicity, and now difference or other disfigurement and or disfigurement. And what I was doing was challenging the fashion industry to be more inclusive of us. And at the same time, I wanted to encourage the, the leisure centres, which I'm working on now, to use our images, share the images to encourage everybody to swim. 
and it's really important as a competitive swimmer and as somebody who also set up swim groups over a year ago, year ago. And what I'm doing at the moment is running swimming groups each month for people with differences so they can come out. I encourage them to be more accepting of their bodies. So that is really important for me and for them.